Watch her hot. Her hot. Hot. Good evening, Central Indiana, and welcome to Porch Time with your host. Oh, it's wrong show. Yeah, wrong <laughs> show. What are you doing, man? Don't be blowing well, it. Welcome, welcome to Monday Music Hour. We'll get to the host of the show here in a minute. We've got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. Um, no musical guests actually in studio, but we will get to that momentarily. Real quick, let me say uh, thank you to our sponsors, American Basement Solutions, one 409 2857 Get a hold of Larry Ralph for all your foundation and basement needs. Fathom Real Estate, Teresa Mesmer, 765-341-8911. Contact Teresa for all your real estate needs. Of course, when you want to go out, work, you want to work out, you want to go to Reps Fitness, 765-349-5645. Get a hold of Scotty or, or even CB. Drink the Creek Concert Series are coming up May 7th. And we're actually going to have Pavel Pavel Pavel, and direct contact in Son de Esquina <laughs> <laughs> in studio on oh, May 2nd. May 2nd. I cannot wait for that. What's up, Mike? Um, findhelp.org. That is Judge Williams' group. That uh, that site is amazing. It's just not for, if you need help, money, it's it's... Domestic issues and things like that. If you need anything like that, get on that site and check it out. It's a pretty cool site. Of course, we have Bland and Boys Lawn Care. Once winter's over, come June, they'll start cutting my grass. But until then, kind of hanging out. 765-315-9656. Then, of course, we have Wayman's Furniture, Appliance, Mattress. I, I, I'm just, I love it. We have Wayman's. They, they are a cornerstone of our community. They've been involved, involved in our community for a very long time. Mark is a great dude. 765-342-4339. Stop in there and tell him you heard his business announced on here. Then we have Wellsprings, Mr. Bob Goodrum, who's involved just about everything in the community. Does a good job. 765-346-6661. We've got one of my favorites, Stid's Comfort Systems. Right now, it's keeping us warm in here. Yes, it is nice and warm in here. I did crank it up. It's one of them cold, wet days I can't stand. It yeah, makes I me can't cold. stand the cold days yeah. anymore. It just tears me up. 765-346-0195. <laughs> then, we court, of course, we have Peggy Mayfield. She's our state representative. She's up for election, District 60. They just finished their 10th session. She did. And we're happy to have her on board. Lots of folks... Tuning in. Jeff, Jesse, what's up? Hello, Camille. Hello, Shelby. Hello, Corey. Mike Minty, what's up, Billy? What's up, man? I thought you might come in here and favor us with the Come chat. on in, Billy. Come on in, Billy. Bring your guitar. Valerie, how are you, dear? All the way down in Florida. Tim Burnham and Bill Martin. <laughs> now. <laughs> last week I cut it. Last week I announced you and I killed myself right at the... I ended it, so... We're going to talk about last week first, right out of the get-go. All right, let's do it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been There's waiting no music for. There's music in here, though. I, I know. We, we don't have that licensing like some of these companies that we bring in does. The host of Muddy Music Hour, the one and only Mr. Rob Helms. I'm announcing you at the fair like that. I'm going to get on stage and do it. Good evening, folks. I don't There's know what Christy to do after, that fall, after all that. But, uh, How you doing, Christy? No, we had uh, last week, we had um, Ryan Morse, Ryan Christopher, Stage name, lead singer of uh, Resurrection. Resurrection in here. And we did our first ever Zoom interview. Went okay. Went okay. <laughs> it went well for you and him. Yeah. I disappeared. I, but I could, I kept, my part kept freezing. And we want to do that with some of the people that we could never get in here. That, you know, I, I can make a call and say, okay, can we get you guys to do that? And we can do that with a lot of different artists, but we got to make sure it's, yeah, you know, it's really, really we gotta good. We got to get it right. Yeah. And uh, it I was thought, a good dude to have first. Yeah, because we know the little bunch. And he we played got. it off too, like oh, the yeah. stuff. He played right into it, and you know they just played uh, Third and Lindsley down there. Really? And they, yeah, in, in Nashville, Tennessee, sold it out, and uh, it's going to be a great crowd at Cedar Creek for them guys when they come in on May fourteenth. It, it always sells out. I mean, big crowd, not selling out. But uh, we don't have any music tonight because we want to talk about what we got coming because we got a bunch of weeks coming where we're going to have a lot of music. Uh, speaking of music, next week. Next week, can't wait. You got that? Pay I got one of them. You got one. Is the Ports Time LLC and Bouncers Are Us presents the Monday Music Hour Star Search. 
We have four contestants coming in. You want me to name them? Yeah, go ahead. Michael McLean, Ransom Reynolds. Doesn't that, that, sound that sounded like a stage name. <laughs> I know. It? And then Dakota Skiles, and then Jack Reese. I coached oh. Jack Reese. Did you? Yeah. All of them sound like movie Hollywood names. Hollywood Those are Jack our first Reese. four. Ransom Reynolds. I know. That's Starring Ransom Reynolds. Yeah. And Jack Reese. So next week, they'll be on the show. They'll need your stars. They'll need, you'll need to help move them guys on. Now, you didn't tell them the most important part. I did not. How much money they win, Kevin? One thousand dollars. Not next week. Not next no, week. Total. If you win it all, you carry out a check. Actually, it's cash for one thousand dollars. One thousand greenbacks. And, and we're working on where we're going to do the finals. Am I right? Yeah. We haven't just we haven't just decided that yet. We'll have to have make a command decision. Yeah, we will have to have a meeting. <laughs> That's a, yeah, yeah, that's a joke between all of us. Jeremy Toomey, how you doing, What's up, buddy? buddy? He's a funny guy. Thank man. you for the stars, Jeremy. Funny dude. So that's next week, Starts the Star Search, and we're pumped about that. Can't We've wait. got, I think, 13 or 14 contestants total, which is great. Four, five, and four in the coming, you know, yeah, whittle so it down. That'll be awesome. We'll have those guys. We'll have the first round next week, and the winner of that <clears> moves <throat> on to the semifinals. Uh, Kev? Tell because I told Bethany I gotta get her a check for this, but tell them about this right here, buddy. Golf outing, guys. We're getting down to the wire here, but we still need. Oh, look, we I bet Jeremy s- Toomey plays golf. Jeremy, do you play golf? Are you still watching? He's he's on. He's a he's a diehard. He's sending another fifty stars. Thank you, Jeremy. We know times are tough right now, but later on in the summer you're gonna want to go to a golf tournament, and you're not gonna find cheaper prices than what we offer to get into an event that helps the community out where we can push two scholarships for $1,000 to someone in his school in Morgan County. A, a foursome's 160 bucks. A whole sponsor's 225 And I think you get a discount. Um, I don't, I don't want to... You don't want to mess it up. Yeah, Bethany would be all over me. But you get a discount if you do both. So contact myself or Bethany. It's Saturday, Mar- April 11th, out at Fox Cliff. No, not April 11th. I'm sorry. Saturday, April 30th, out at Fox Cliff. Um, 1 p.m. start. Mark, hey, I, I want to. I I'm serious. When I mention you guys in the and you're you guys on the show, I love it. I, I love the fact. I love the fact that you're a sponsor of the show and and work with us because um, I have a lot of respect, but not only for you know your family, but for the store itself. And you guys have been a mainstay in this community for a long time, and we just appreciate it. Great family. Yep. Great. I love going in there. You know, Mark's wife, she is a working machine. Now, Mark sits on his butt behind the desk. <laughs> I don't know. And he's, watches he's his. Sponsored. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he knows I'm just kidding. He got injured. He fell off the truck or something. Did he? Yeah, he did. He's got to get some help. If you want a job, I guarantee you they're, they're probably they're hired. They're probably hired, but I know Michael Hornaday's company is. He told me that's one of the reasons he he's, wanted to sponsor. He's one of our concert sponsors. He says he's not talking low carb. Tell me again where you are, and I'll bring some low carb homemade cookies. Oh, oh, there you go. But Michael, he's looking for workers for his company. I mean, if you look around, I know people need jobs, but there's companies that are hiring. And he's not looking for your college. I don't I don't want to say it the wrong way. He's not looking for your, your sure. college education guys. He's looking for your blue-collar worker who wants to get out there and work hard and make some money. So contact Michael Hornaday. There's J.B. O'Neill. What's up, J.B.? How you doing, buddy? 909 East Columbus, Mark. Or Mr. Hornaday. He's not bringing low carb cookies. Is he? Uh, he, he says he is. Yeah, everybody's hiring right now, and, and that's, everywhere you go, it looks yeah. like. And and that's what kills me when you see individuals standing on the side of the road says, "We'll work for food." I'm like, dude, no, you won't, because everybody across the world is hiring right now. Nobody, nobody's off. Nobody's taking it. So we got a lot going on. We got Star Search. We got golf. We got golf. What's up, James? <clears throat> We got concerts coming. You got kind of a full slate coming up starting in May. May 7th. And then we go to November, man. It's good times, though. May 7th to November. Hey, I just wanted to say since Mark you're in Wayman, there. I'm still listening. I think he's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we didn't think you were still on when I was making fun of you. I just want to say what you did for your sponsors the other night was pretty cool. It was fun. Um, it never, was hard we've never done that. to pin that many, and I, I don't take this wrong, working people that own companies. Down 
Can we register the day of scramble? I believe so, Jeremy. To pin all them down, put them in one building, and show appreciation what you did. And uh, local grind did a heck of a job catering that. She's a good gal. Yeah. So and very reasonable was... price. So if you're looking for a good caterer, and we've got them, like Kevin at Gather Round does it, and there's a lot of them around yep. town. Uh, the lady at the local grind, which is the new coffee right there on uh, Sycamore and Morgan. Um, first of all, my wife loves her coffee. Oh, I went in there and went live the other morning with low carb, as Mr. Hornaday was saying, low carb breakfast. And I, I, which I live right up by there. So I stop here and get Lisa a coffee every once in a while. And you know, it's the fancy coffee. It's not like the one. I mean, I just get medium dark with some cream. That's all I do. I'm not, but Lisa gets the fancy coffees and I saw her little thing on there saying that she uh, caters. Yeah. So I, I started talking to her about it. I had her cater our sponsor party Taco and she did a great and that job. That was awesome. That was she good did a great stuff. job. I highly recommend her. Yep. And her pricing was great. Uh, you know, the sponsors to come out, it was great. It was hard to hold them down, you know, cause we wanted to make sure they were networking with each other and talking. And then we had the dinner and then I wanted to get up there and say some stuff about our company and a couple things. And, you know, they hung out for about two hours, two and a half oh, hours, yeah. you know. And then, of course, you had Rose singing, so. Yeah. That's that's a kicker right there. Uh, anytime we can get Rose to sing, we always try to get, get her going. 100%. You know? Hey, JB, do you know if, if uh, Rose and them are playing Greeks this Saturday night or not? Depends on that. It all If she's playing her, it all depends on whether I'm going to Jeffersonville or not <laughs> for a concert down there. Um. But no, we've got so many exciting things going on. We got a big announcement coming up here. I love to sing, and you're very good at it, dear. Uh, we got a big announcement, hopefully coming up here with the uh, city and the county coming up May first or second. Are, are we waiting on that? Playing yeah. Greeks on the twenty third. There That's you go. What she said. Yes, we are waiting to make that announcement. Uh, we'll have Mayor Costin and Don Adams. We hope all in here together, and uh, we'll make an announcement about some stuff going on. I'm talking about May 10th. Can we say anything about that yet or not? I'm, I'm waiting. She's still waiting. She's in there at the Board of Works right now. She just texted me. Oh, we need to slow down then. So she'd be done about 7, 7.30 said, uh, city uh, council meeting. So we'll just, She's at the Apex Bill. Oh, she's at county. Yeah, she's at the county building. Oh, we have to slow down. And they're, they're all lost. Everybody's watching. Goes, what are they talking about? <laughs> well, we got something we're working on for our concert. It's just a TikTok thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I, can I get my hint? Yeah, I don't care. Remember the uh, Bruno Mars video a few years ago that swept across the country? Well, these these crazy individuals at RD Productions are, are getting ready to pull off something like that on a massive scale that will require a lot of folks if they pull it off. Um, we're we'll, hoping. We're just waiting on approval. And like I said, my daughter's down there right now waiting to see if we got approved to, to do what we wanted to do. It'll be fun. So uh, the other day I talked to Pavel. Pavel and direct. Pavel and direct contact. And I also met with Sande. Esquina. Yes, you're getting that good. Uh Esquina. (laughs) And I I talked to him about the concert on that May 7th now, Kevin. And I know Bethany's going to be right all over it. And I I think you would do fabulous at it. On May 7th at 4 o'clock, we got the free salsa lesson starting. Before the concert, so you you know you can dance to the music. I'll be work. I work at. I'll be working. With you the are not <laughs> going to be working on that day. Rose O'Neill's going to be out there uh, doing the salsa, salsa lesson. Yeah, and salsa J- dancing. JB might be doing it too. You never know. But Pavel, if you watch, Pavel is unbelievable. I'm not kidding you. The guy is a ball of energy. But and we're going to have him in here on May second. Both of them are just Pavel. Both Pavel bands. and. Oh wow. Sunday, that's not the whole full band, just, just a different few of parts of them. Talking about what we're going to be doing out there, and they're going to sing and play a little bit. That's opening week. It's at Cinco de Mayo week, and it's Latin America Fiesta night out there. It's going to be a blast. That'll be fun. And then we got May fourteenth. We got that's Resurrection. Resurrection fancy sauce. Fancy sauce. Then the the concert that's selling like crazy online. For seven, us, seven bridges, seven bridges, which is the Eagles tribute, and Boys, Boys in the, in the band, band, which is an Alabama tribute. So, and then we got Thunderstruck. They'll, they'll sell out big time to there. Thunderstruck and classic rock experience. And then, of course, we got our tickets for the uh, the big concert. Mark says he will not be dancing. No, you fell off of a truck. 
and you're really killing me. <laughs> you dog me. Mark, I, I, I do not condone the actions coming from the other side of this room tonight, so. I'm not doing anything. I'm just, he <laughs> fell off of a truck. Ask him, did he fall off a truck? He fell off a truck. He's not dancing. Now, one thing we don't Mark's ever get into dude. too much. You know what else is happening in May? Indy 500. Yeah. Prom. Prom. Graduation. Graduation. My, my kid graduates from IU. That's a good deal, isn't it? Yep. Uh, the, maybe a special thing going on in May. You got a special announcement. We might have a special thing going on in May. Yes, and it hurt. He said. <laughs> and then some. You're you're getting ready to drop. At you. You're getting ready to drop on me that I'm forgetting. Well, no, we got our free concerts. May twentieth is May twentieth is our first one. Forty five RPM, which is up at Mooresville Pioneer Park, folks. If you've never been there, go. It's beautiful. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully the weather will be more more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this Saturday, they said it's supposed to be 80 degrees. I mean, it's what, 40? It was snowing today when I went to pick up my granddaughter. Same. To take yeah. her to school. It was yeah. snowing. Uh, I hate it when. And sorry. then our first band, downtown Martinsville. Now, Kevin, I'm going to see. You've heard me say it, but where's that concert's going to be held at? See if you remember. Right in front of 21 North. See, very good, Kev. Looking north on the road. And the first band, that lady... You know, I, I know I overemphasize when people come in here and say this, they're fantastic. This gal is a ball of energy, whether it's 95 degrees on that stage or cold or sitting in here in the studio. Go just to watch her. But she is phenomenal. Our lineup for all the free concerts are a, are a blast. We've got a little bit of everything. People, I guess people ask me if, I, if I'm ever bringing rock and roll. Well, if you look at the, the Cedar Creek lineup yeah, and the, the, the concerts, the free concerts and all that, the majority of it is some type of rock and roll. Yeah. You know, I mean, you look at it. I mean, it's just, if well, you look, 45 well, RPM, back in the day is a classic rock band. Jane Bond and the Pink Martinis, with, this is all Mooresville. Sure. Jane Bond and the Pink Martinis, that's like a party, big party band. Now, Peyton Collier, you remember him? But he'll, yeah, but he'll play anything, though, too. Yeah, he can. But Peyton will be more country-oriented in here. And then Tastes Like Chicken, they're just, <clears throat> they're fun. They, they play a little bit of everything. And then Downtown Martinsville, Downtown Martinsville, Stella Luna, a little bit of everything. Adam Hart Mother is a Pink Floyd tribute. That's backed by demand. They're amazing. They are amazing. Yes. Big Roscoe and the Hammers, love them. Yep. And then Tommy uh, Henson's Main Street will be there on, Ju on uh, July 7th. With our, I got to get these kids back on the show, see how they're the doing. Isaac Band. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'll get a hold of them. See if the little gal's taking over the band yet. <clears throat> yeah, I guarantee she is. And then Big Country. And then our 4th of July at the, at the City Park, we got Groove Smash, Blue River, Tastes Like Chicken, Austin James. I just got a lot of music and stuff going on. Not to mention all the stuff that other people are doing around here. And uh, it's a pretty exciting time around here, I think. They yeah. are awesome. Scotty said, it's, it's the amount of talent that is in this area. It, I'm. I was ignorant to it until we started doing this. and It's you're amazing. Like, you're like, this guy's just from right over here, and this guy's from right over here. And I'm like, dude, just think where? the people who live in Martinsville. Yeah. I mean, so talented. Amazing talent, music-wise. Talented. Talented people. Some of them play have their own channel, too, on TikTok. Billy says ZZ Top is the one he's looking for, the ZZ Top. They tribute. are coming August 27th out at Cedar Creek with Freebird as a Leonard Skinner tribute and Eliminator ZZ Top tribute. That'll be a fun show. We had uh, these beards on last there. year at the, the fairgrounds. They were good. Yes, they were. Very yes. good. Yes, they were. You know, their lead singer at that time was coming out of COVID. And he was having a hard time remembering stuff. Really? Yeah. They told us that. On my way with two carb cookies. Side door facing St. Clair Street, Mark. You'll see Rob's truck right out front. Park okay. fireworks should be on the... Saturday closest to the 4th. Well, Jeremy, that's not my decision. I don't make that decision. They just tell me when it is, and they're going to stay with the tradition, I think, of always doing it on the 4th. 4th of July. You know, I think I, that, but it's up to them. I'm good with that. Is that a – Is that a? what day is that, the 4th this year? On a Sunday, Sunday? I think. Billy says they were very good. Mike, not Mark. Did I call him Mark? I don't know. Did you? I probably did. I'm I, I'm looking at um, Mark uh, Wayman up here. I apologize, Mike. 
Not gonna make friends, Cav, when you're calling people uh, by the uh, wrong name, bud. Easy, Rob. <laughs> Rod. <laughs> Rod. Rod. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah, he's not been in the band. He's in a band called Hairball. Look that. Yeah. Look that deal up. I just talked to Dave the other day. Is he? Is they on fire? Are they? That band? They're awesome. Gotta get them. Yeah. I, I was sitting there and I was like, he called him Rod Helms. <laughs> yeah. I was like, come on, Dave. <laughs> Call him Doug and see. Hey, Doug. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but have you seen what we got up at uh, Pioneer Park on September 24th, Kev? I- I'm looking right now. September 24th. Because a guy asked me today if I had any rock and roll coming to the fairgrounds. I said, no, I moved that show to Pioneer Park. We're calling it Rocking It Out at Pioneer Park, which is uh, Absolute Queen, which is a Queen tribute. And Def Leppard A tribute. Def Leppard tribute. And Rick Alexander's new band called Deadline. So you got a, you're adding a third band to this. I don't have it on. Yeah. On this right here, bud. Oh, yeah. We're going to be out passing those out here and all, all over everywhere you can go. We get these brochures online. If you ever want to know when the concerts are going on, go to rdproductionsllc.com. Also, join our VIP text list. Get on there. And look that stuff up on our website. Well, I'm going to have to go up to Pioneer Park and see Peyton and the Candle Burners on July 8th. Hello, Teresa. I like Kevin, are you guys going to go live this year at some of these concerts? Well, yeah. Which one do you think? Which one you want to do? First? Well, we're going to be May seventh. I guarantee you that. You're going to be at that. You're going to be at the American Fiesta. Uh-huh. Not the American Fiesta tonight. Yeah, are the Flying Toasters coming? No. You not had this them, year. Yeah, had them last year. We'll be there for sure on May seventh. Um, I see. I can't. I, gosh, I can't waste to make that other announcement, but I can't tell nobody. It's going to be incredible. I don't even think you've told me yet. You threatened to tell me, and then you No, I did away. tell you, and you, you had to keep a promise, remember? Yes. Resurrection, I can't miss that. And then, of course... I'm telling you, man, the Eagles Seven tribute. Bridges is awesome, and I want to see the boys' band. Boys in the band. Boys in the band, Alabama tribute. Alabama tribute. And we're not going to miss Thunderstruck. I, I don't care what's going on. The only way we won't go is if there's storming out early in the year. Now, almost some of those bands, when it's uh, Henry Lee, got him out there on June 25th. It could be 95 degrees. Going. Hey, oh, suck hey, it up, hey, buttercup. Hey, Henry Lee's out there. That's good. It could be a hot one for Henry. Henry and, and then Mel and Cougar. And they're both awesome. You got some good ones, man. I want to see Earth to Mars and, of course, Soul Street rocks it. Yeah, Vicky, yes, you are correct. I am super excited for the boy band <laughs> review. In sync, new kids on the block, music. And, and I'm telling you, Vicky, I know you're watching. But you're the reason that I, I went she's, and booked that. She's the one that wanted it. She wanted it. She works out at Cedar Creek. Um, and I know they bring a big crowd. They yeah. just do. I, uh, I, I can't miss the ultimate Garth Brooks tribute band or Duke Tomato. Yeah. And then the heck the next night you got Gene Deere and Gordon Bonham, Bill Purley, Kid Kentucky, Big Country. There, there's, there's, there's not many that you, you want to say, oh, I can't go this weekend. There's, it's like a solid. It's like one through nine with the DH. Now everybody's a, a tough out. There's yeah. no easy outs anymore. No, we wanted to. I mean, that's what I try to do is schedule the best stuff I can. Knowing I've missed somebody, you know, I'm not gonna make everybody happy. I just can't. It's just not the way it works. But, but, but I mean, let's uh, let's let's just just skim through here real quick because you you made a valid point. Okay, we know the first two. It's Latin America Fiesta night. So we're gonna scratch May seventh. But May fourteenth, rock and roll. Fancy sauce is rock and roll. Seven Bridges is o- older rock. Boys in the band. It's country. Country. But it's kind of country rock, isn't it? With Alabama. Alabama. No, I think they're more okay, country. Okay, we'll go country. Thunderstruck, classic rock experience, rock and roll. Boy band review and Dream Slice, that's probably going to be more pop. Pop, yeah, hip hop. Yeah, yep. yeah, pop. Henry Lee and Mel and Cougar, that's rock, rock and, roll. and roll. Back to Mac and those damn torpedoes, rock, and, rock and, roll. and roll. Toy Factory Jam Box, rock and roll. Earth to Mars, which is Bruno Mars and Soul Street, that's, that's a little hip hop and pop. R&B. Yeah. Freebird, rock and roll. Eliminator, rock and roll. Then on your, you got the country. That's the country rock and blues fest, though. Right. But, the, you know, all those, they, it, but it's 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 a good mix, even though. Then you got Beatles, Stones, and Hairbangers Ball. So it's not like you're totally doing all country music. No. Would you be you willing to meet free- with me regarding the 200th anniversary celebration? Absolutely, Shane. Just let me know, bud. Let me know and we'll meet. Thanks, Shane. I didn't want to come either. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we forget people are watching. Right, right. Shane, just let me know and I'll, I'll be uh, 
be more than happy to meet with you. I can't wait. It's going to be a fun summer. I think that a lot of things have changed. Some for the worse, some for the better, but I think this summer is going to be a good summer. People are ready to get out and have some fun. Yep. Definitely. Yes, Rhythm and Blues. Rhythm and Blues. I'm waiting on your text, bud. We, that, we got to push. She still hasn't sent it to me. About four minutes. That meeting, meeting should adjourn. Well, I would hope. And behave, Kevin. So uh, Shane just said. Right, I hear you. <laughs> I'd love to talk to you about it, Shane. I think we could put something good together. you got a pretty, pretty full slate, though. Yeah. That's uh, 24, though. I got oh, a that's time two years think, away? Yeah, I got a little oh, time to think yeah, about it. Well, got plenty of time. I'm working on bringing Garth Brooks next. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Somebody will run with that. Yeah. Well, it's, um, my daughters, I cooked for them last night. We came in here and sat down to eat and was watching videos. Of course. Oh, wait a minute. Before we go, did you have a good Easter? Yes, sir. What about you? Had a great Easter. Went to my uh, mother in law's house. Mm -hmm. He cooks great. Probably the best potato salad. Now, in the did, world. I was gonna say, did you eat? Yeah, I eat. Okay, good. Because I know you're very picky. Yeah, I eat. You're very conscious of what putting your body in a party on that. Uh, you know, I eat. See, there you go. No, someone's gonna run with that. Yeah. I had, we had family. Majority of our family at one over at one Patty's, and then my kids couldn't come down until last late last night. So I took chicken thighs and cooked them. Old fashioned in the stove and some in the fryer, had broccoli and potatoes and, and mac salad. But, um, now I forgot where I was going with this. Oh, well, we were watching videos. Well, they're still Taylor Swift fans. Oh, and I told them, I said, Hey, in 12 years, we'll have her out of the fairgrounds. Yes. Yeah. And they just all looked at me they're like, Really? And I was like, My granddaughter there's a worships chance. it. Oh, yeah. You know, they, just, love they love it. I just, I, I did, and then I, I, I didn't. I respect her. I'll just put it to you. I respect what she does. She got rid. Of, she got out of that deal that she was in. I, I, I believe me. I know all the Taylor Taylor Swift stuff, and so she's kind of doing her own, her own thing now. So hopefully, she'll keep going because kids love her. Those kids kids love her stuff. Hey Rob, I know. You know, Bill. I maybe I I. I that's still a ten million dollar fine, right there. Get her eat. No, you, you got there's there's acts and there's the A list and the A plus list and Miranda she's, Lambert's on the A plus yeah, list. Yeah, she's still there. So when you're on that A plus list, you're looking at probably anywhere from a half a million dollars to a million just to talk to. Well, no, to get them on the you know the show. Um, <laughs> Rob can put Garth Brooks to open the new Cracker Barrel. We get a new Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I wish. I'd stay in line for that. No, I'm just kidding. We've only been spreading that rumor. Billy's only been spreading that rumor on Ports Time for about three years. What, the Cracker Barrel? Anytime a new building's getting worked on, he's had it in the old McDonald's, the old Sears, Newberries, everywhere. So, And don't forget, once again, we did say we have to promote it. I know we don't want to kill people with it, but our Star Search Contest starts next, next Monday. Monday night. We're going to have four great contestants in here. Michael McLean, Ransom Reynolds, Coda Skiles, and Jack Reese. They'll need your stars. And then uh, we'll be judging them, and they'll sing three or four songs, three songs, I think, whatever it is. Same like setup as before, and yep. um, we'll make it work, and we'll have fun with it. The winner moves on to the semifinals, where they get the chance to go to the finals to win $1,000, thanks to... Bouncers. Bouncers are us. Bouncers, baby. Which is a great deal. You know, the... Um, Dancing Dan. Dancing Dan. How about that guy? Right there. We got some new stuff he sent me. It's pretty cool. My daughter's getting ready to put it out. She does all of our social media. He sent me a thing where he says, hey, this is Trace Atkins. I'm coming to. Really? Yeah. Pretty cool. How, are you in contact with individuals from Lone Star, or do you have to go through their booking agencies and all that? No, I'll just deal with their management and their, or their agency. I Growing growing up, but in the 90s, when, when those guys were hot with Lone Star and Diamond Rio, dude, those were two of my favorites. They were like, one of the two biggest. Excuse me, in the 90s, they were two of the biggest bands there was. Yeah. I love Right, them. Jeremy. Neil McCoy is a great performer. We've he, opened up for him twice. Yeah, he was just down uh, somewhere in southern Indiana a few few months ago, wasn't he? Yeah. I think so. You know, another concert I ain't talked too much about because we're just getting ready to make the announcement because tickets don't go on sale until June 10th. But down at the uh, Bloomington at the uh, Balloon Fest, mm -hmm. that show we've got on a Thursday night, we've got 
and you, you get everything included in your ticket price. Not every, not everything, but you get the kids zone, adult zone, where they get to ride rides or do all these different uh, inflatables. Like and for the adults, there'll be axe throwing and mechanical bull and all zip, sorts zip of fun line. Stuff. Uh, but on Thursday night, September 8th, we've got Soul Street, Tony Walker and the second half band, which is a um, uh, great dance. He played for the Colts. Tony Walker did. That's from there. And yeah. then uh, the dynamics. And then on that Friday night, we've got the Eagles Project. We've got the Eagles Project with um, Cody Eichert and the Sidewinders and Connor Berry. Really? And then on Saturday night, September 10th, we got Craig Morgan, Elk Ridge Boys, Big Country, and Jake Dodds. Down there? Yeah. Wow. And you can get a ticket as low as 20 bucks. Really? And the, the highest price ticket for that concert is 50 Come on in. Wow, I'll take it over. Hey, I'm your host here. <laughs> I, I tried taking a show over a start, but. We got guests coming in. That's awesome. Hey, Michael, I, Come on over and have My, a Michael Hornaday from uh, On the Level Excavating. You're, you're in here now. You're on the show. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're in trouble. How you doing, bud? Not bad. How about you, Rob? Good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Look, people just him. wander in and drop him. by. That's a great. Move him to his right. Move to your right, please. Oh. Now uh, we got to get him on let's camera. Let's cams. What are you out doing besides bringing us cookies? I'm bringing Bib cookies. He's talking about <laughs> low carb. <laughs> So we've been on low carb since November, and and you're doing all right with it. I've lost 35 pounds, feel all kinds of energy, better, yeah. a whole lot better. And see, when I talked about it that night, and I wasn't trying to, because you know everybody's defensive because they got their own ideas, and and I understand. Doc, it works for some people, don't work for everybody. Yeah, and that's what I, my point was trying to make is this is a thing that I know works for me because the minute I stop eating the sugar and, and the bread, my joints don't hurt at all. I don't have to take tums at night. I mean, literally, if I don't eat. A sandwich, any bread that day. I don't matter what time I eat my low carb, whatever I want to eat, I can go to bed and no, there's no acid reflux whatsoever, none. Yep. And I've lived with that. And I was thinking, how? Cause, you know, because when you get to the point where you're like, man, this is not good. I was thinking back when we used to go camping as kids over at Cataract. I had it then because I remember laying in that tent night asking Dad for roll eggs because that was the only thing they had back then. I'm burning, you know. You just got. You know, heartburn. No, it's, it was acid reflux then, too, but that was eight, nine years old. So I, I like to joke my do uh, wife went to the doctor in November and she was classified pre diabetic. Yeah. She come home and I was diabetic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not the doctor's note. Right. But, you know, right. she says, if I'm pre diabetic, you You're gotta diabetic. Be diabetic. Can you so, tell the big difference, though? When yeah. You start? Energy yeah. levels up yeah. big time and. Down thirty five pounds. Man, that's down awesome. Twenty five. So definitely been healthy for us. There's some low carb cookies. Two cookies, two carbs per cookie. Really? They're mint chocolate chip. Mint. That's fantastic. Mint chocolate mint? chip. Mint. Yep. Well, it's a weakness. Yeah, oh, I know. Well, it is. Well, they're, chocolate they're, is they're my excellent. weakness. He's got the recipe. If you want it, we'll get it to you. And then we started making low carb pizzas. Do you do the cauliflower base? No, I don't care for the cauliflower bread. Okay. Mission now has out two or three carb uh, flour tortilla, basically. Really? I say flour. It's probably not. But yeah, it's a right. tortilla. So I like a thin crust pizza. Anyway. Same here. Yeah. So we were we cook up the ingredients, the sausage, pepperoni, mushroom, whatever you want to put on it, onions. Yeah. We, we cook all that stuff up first. And put it in little containers, and then when I'm hungry for lunch or whatever, I'll go in there and grab a tortilla, butter the back side of it, throw it on the grill, right, and then bake my pizza right there on the grill or in a 12 inch skillet. So I haven't had the urge yet for pizza, but you know, I, I, you can eat pizza seven days a week. But what I thought I was going to do is buy the ingredients, like you say, and just make a bowl of it without the bread. Because you can put the, you know, the black olives and the onions and the peppers and sausage, everything in a bowl, heat it up, stir it up, eat it. Whatever, whatever you like, you know. A few yeah. things, few of the veggies have some carbs in them, but yeah, they're, you, they're good carbs yeah. mostly. But yeah, I just it's it's the way to go with it. We just, I just love them. Yeah. We started to take over the no, Monday I'm Music Hour for learning. for Food Music Hour, but uh, Thanks. you you want you want to talk? Look, we're going to talk about drawing a crowd. You talk about kids, animals, or food. 
and them numbers go oh, right, yeah. right through the roof. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's it's awesome. But, hey, if you're out there listening, though, Mike, what me and you were talking about the other day, how you're needing workers. Yep. I'm, I'm looking for workers, looking for blue-collar workers, not the graduates from college or whatever. If you got a diploma, that's great. But, you know, uh, we're looking for blue-collar workers. It's hard to get somebody to hold a shovel and do what we got to do. Appreciate the mention tonight, Rob. Uh, what would you need him to do? If, if you could hire a guy today, a guy said, I'm ready to go to work, what would what would you hire him as? Make, we'll, we'll train him. I mean, we can turn him into a pipe layer. Eventually, we can turn him into an operator if they want, you know, if they, if they want to continue that far. But everybody's got to start in the ditch. I started in the ditch 35 plus years ago, and you know that's where it starts. And you just but go for back. a young kid that wants a job that could turn into a career, and make good money at, why not? Yep, exactly. Why not? There's jobs out there just like yours, and they they, they need us get on them. Mark says he's down 20. He's Mr. Wayman's on uh, low carb also. Of course, Rob's been putting him down all night about fall, falling off the oh, back of the truck. Yeah. I love Mark. He's a good dude. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. We've just been talking about all of our concerts and stuff we got coming up. I, I've been listening. You scored big today with the WCBK one in the advertising. Yeah, game. I didn't even know. I, I didn't know. I got sent a text. I went in there to, to just congratulate him, and they said, well, spin the wheel. So I spun the wheel. And What'd I you wanna, win? I want to... Uh, I don't even drink coffee, so I gave it to Lisa, but I want a coffee cup. 55 years celebrating WCBK. There you go. And they go, Rob, well, you got to put your name in here for a drawing for <clears throat> uh, for a, a, a remote, like a two-hour remote for your business. I said, okay. So I signed it. Well, I was at football practice, and I got a text from Debbie Keister. You won. And I won it. So that's good. It was a good day. <laughs> yeah. I'll use it somewhere because I, I got some ideas. I was going to say, you, you could uh, promote a concert real easy with that. Well, we're going to promote. We got a lot of promotions coming up. I'm pretty excited. You know, and Kevin, I always give the credit where it's due. I try to, and I try to stay humble about this. But man, there's so many people in this community that has helped. You know, um, it's helped us put these concerts on, man. The back of that brochure and in, and in the front, all the businesses that are involved with promoting. And there, I told our sponsors, and Mike, I, I meant this sincerely. There is no way under any God's green earth that we would attempt to bring. People don't understand. We have almost three hundred fifty, four hundred thousand dollars worth of entertainment coming to Morgan County. Yep. And uh, there's just no way that we would attempt that. Yeah. I heard you guys I heard you guys talking a while ago and I'm looking down. We did a ticket giveaway and, and somebody's already won. We haven't made the announcement yet, but somebody's uh-huh. already won the first set of tickets that we were gonna give away. Yeah. Um but it's hard to decide which tickets we want to give away because I want to see all the acts. Right, right. Well, there, there is no. I may have to buy some more tickets just so I can go. But we do sell them, just yeah. so you know. We do sell them. We're not all about giving away. Pam's asking. Oh. Announce ticket oh. winner from. She wants me to announce the ticket winner. There you go. Okay, the ticket winner. I'm sure he's not listening, but is Evan Kirkoff, who works for Hill Water, is who won the tickets. Evan Kirkoff. So if you're friends with Evan Kirkoff, you might message him and say, Where's hey, Evan from? Woohoo! He's from Mooresville. He worked for uh, the fire department for years up there, so there are people that know him. He works for Hillwater now. That's What's awesome. Hillwater? It's the area up around Mooresville that's, well, all the way from Rob Hill, all the way up to Echo Lake, and there's, you know, okay. it backs up against what Mooresville doesn't cover for water. Rob Hillwater is what it is. <laughs> so well, like, yeah. Red Day Road, Goat Hollow. It's just called that. Hillwater. Yeah. Now, Mike, you guys got to get those people out there. You got to come out to those free concerts. They're fun. Yep. And they're, what are they, Kevin? How much does it cost to go to the free concerts? Well, maybe that's what Evan won was a free concert. Yeah, he <laughs> might have won. There's free. a bunch of winners. You're all invited to the free concerts. They're free. And if they, if they I don't think it's going to be like this. Well, it will be. You'll probably have an orange fencing up. At Pioneer Park. Don't stop at the door and look in. Walk in. Remember the first year we did that? That was downtown. We had yeah. people standing outside that fence waving to us. Can I go in? I'm like, yeah, just come in. Look at the sign right next to it. It says free. Free. Come in. <laughs> you know, that's one thing, though, we talked about in that sponsor. I mean, what people don't understand is like, hey, we got 29 concerts that's in this area. 17 of them are ticketed events. Right. The other 12 are completely free to the public. And how that happens is through sponsorships. Gentlemen, like. I mean, it's just how, I mean. There's there's nobody giving us any money for these. I mean, it's just the way it works. Right. Yeah. So, and uh, you're expanding, and your sponsors are getting bigger. You know what I mean? You're you're oh, yeah. going all over the county. You're going southern Indiana. You're going west west side of the state, and you're going up almost to 
northern Indiana now. I too. mean, we've got a night. We've got a great night over at uh, Terre in Terre Haute called Pints and Pups. You bring your dog out, and you know you got beer and all that stuff. And but we've got a Garth Brooks tribute, the same one I got here, and I got a Toby Keith tribute. <clears throat> I'd like to hear that one. Corey Cox, remember when we had Corey in Corey here? Corey was in here. Corey's on there, and then we've got Bark Toberfest. Which is down in Evansville at Newburgh, where Castle is. That's my buddy from upstate New York. What's up, Debesky? You can snow. keep that snow, buddy. Yeah, keep all that where you're at. It's snowing and raining here, Mick. So I'll get in on those top acts that you're talking about. You want to drive my wife wild? Tell her Chris Stapleton. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he's the kind of guy I would love to have at our show. I think he'd be easy to work with. But his money. He's you know, similar to a Craig Morgan type, isn't he? No, not even Pers- the same ballpark. Pers- personality wise, though, you think? I think no, he I would don't know be. About that. I'm just saying, money wise, people don't understand what happens when they get to a certain level. You know, you got artists that are on their way up, you got artists that are up there, and you got artists that are kind of on their way down. Just, you know, it's just, it's just hard. Sure. They, they've played all these big halls and then they're on their way down. Now they get to play smaller venues. Some of them are. And, you know, it's like, like I consider Trace Atkins an A artist. He he's not A plus like he was, but he's been on tour with, with he was last year. He was on well before the pandemic. He was on tour with Blake Shelton. He just had his own TV show too. Still didn't got it. Still yeah. got his own. And as far as performing, I, he is an A plus. Hundred percent. A plus performer. Uh, he's gonna put funny. on an act this year. Dude's I'm funny. You. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a big crowd. We've already sold quite a few tickets. So how's that opening day go? Record setting. record setting. Good. Record setting day. Good. On out at uh, Greg, uh, Greg Gubler Chevrolet. Yep. We've never done that many tickets in one day. That's a big line. Look it's pretty that. fun. Nice to see. Well, Very good to see. All your sponsors, man, they help out. Sponsors, WCBK, Porch Time, all of our media outlets, and the people that are helping us. It's been fun. But we got a great lineup coming to our Music Mondays back. Uh, like I said, May 2nd, we've got uh, Avell. And direct contact coming in. Go ahead, Kev. Son de Esquina. Yeah. They're coming in. I've been working on it. And then <laughs> coming up, Jenny's told me she would come back. Jenny DeVoe, the 78s. Um, I bet you Stella would come back in, too. Oh, yeah. They all had a great time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Connor Berry wants to come back in. Yeah. He's a good. The guy's really good. Talented individual. But we'll have it all filled up. Tim you know? Newman's been uh, making a lot of noise. I think he's got another band out there now, and they're playing somewhere, too. I bet you he would come back in. Tim would come in. Big dude from Lebanon. That's yep. where he's originally from. You know, I've got your out of the banner. We ought to, you get a new banner this year. I did? Yeah. And I've got your old banner. Give you, we could put it right out in the yard, man. Stick that thing I up. I could stick it down in the evenings and, and take it down because if I leave it up all day, it, oh, yeah. It, it end up gone. <laughs> but it looked good. It end up on up. someone's time, later. baby. <laughs> That'd be cool to have. Right. Well, Kev, go through your porch. Go through your. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be on a flag somewhere on somebody's bike. Go through your golf outing real quick, and Kev. We're gonna have to try one of these low carb cookies. And, I know. Uh, I, I, I'm. I'm. Chocolate is my weakness. So. Chocolate man. Saturday, right. April thirtieth, out at Fox Cliff at one p.m. We are doing a golf scramble. This is to raise money for the Porch Time LLC scholarship fund. We're gonna give away two one thousand dollars scholarships. Last year was our first year we did it. We gave a thousand dollars away. Um, this will be fun. It's for Morgan County, uh, high school who student who exhibits good citizenship and is, is accepted and intends to pursue a career in a two to four year degree in a communications or a Votech school or accredited college university. And, uh, we have fun with this. We had a blast last year. We need sponsors. We need teams. And like Beth and I were talking today, we know times are tough and people are, uh, hanging on to cash, uh, but you're not going to find, you're not going to be able to sponsor a tournament and get in one at, for one at Foxcliff for the prices that we're asking. 160 for a foursome and 225 for a whole sponsor. So get a hold of myself or Bethany. Hi, Kev. Yeah, bud. Have a great day, Uh-oh. bud. What day is it? Hand me one of them cookies so I can talk and eat. Please, sir. Did your wife make these? Yes, Pam make yeah. All right, come on, Mike. I got to have one, bud. Oh, man, these look good. Mint chocolate. They smell like a regular cookie. Mm. Just like a regular cookie, so. You get Great to, crunch. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'd hold these under milk not, until the bubbles stop. They're not quite the same texture as, you know, the regular chocolate cake cookies, but you can't tell the difference. No. Wow. Yeah. They taste what the same thing. <laughs> yeah. hmm. the, the, rest, the, the recipe for these. Them are good. Pam, if you're still listening, they want the recipe. All right, so, Kev, May 10th. You ready? May 10th on got, the square. I got the text from my daughter. It got approved. May 10th on the square. Mm -hmm. On a Tuesday, remember? Yep. On a Tuesday night, 6.30, we're inviting everybody to come down. We're going to do a TikTok video, a flash mob. I have to interrupt you because there's Wes. and Oh, yeah, I interrupt. He, he covers everything under the sun. Thank you, Wes. H happy to have you guys out there. May 10th on a Tuesday. Yep. Flash mob. We're going to do the honky tonk, badonka donk dance. We got two ladies creating the dance. Going to keep it simple so everybody can do it. But we want everybody to come down to the square in Martinsville and join us. We're going to have a drone flying around. We want to make it. We're going to teach you the dance, get there and teach you the dance, and then we're going to have a little, a little acting going on, but then we're going to bring them all in, do the dance, film it, put it out there, and we hope it goes viral. I mean, it's helped promote the concert, but we want to get everybody that wants to be a part of it to come down and be, and be in, the, in the video. That'll be fantastic. That'll be fun. A little honky-tonk, badonka donk Who sings it? Come on. Don't say Lone Star. <laughs> no. Um, now, is he going to see the video? Is Trace going to see the video? Who knows he'll see it? You going to send it to him? We might, yeah. I, she I, just texted me. His uh, marketing person just sent me a thing asking if there's anything that they we needed from them or you know whatever they could do to help social media-wise or anything. They're really good at it. So That'll you put it on TikTok, put it on Facebook. That'll yeah. go viral. Yeah. And then you'll have other communities across the globe trying to match what you did. Well, Mackenzie, my daughter, who's our social media director, she was just down there at the board board of commissioners meeting getting it approved. And they got it approved. She sent me the text. All right. I'll take one more. I promise. Just one. More. Oh, the whole bag's yours. Well, I'll have to save some for Corey. Yep. He, I'm he's good. A, he, he misses out. Henry Lee is, will be in studio again sometime, too. We hope so. He had a good time. He had a ball. And then, <laughs> then Scott led him all the way down to down the highway. He's so talented. So talented. He's really good. I mean, thank you. Really for good. For my wife. All right, Kev. I got nothing else, bub. Except the cookies are great. We got a lot, of to a lot of concerts coming up. My buddy Wes Knox is on there. Wes Knox and Sons Roofing. You need your house roof, go see Wes. Get a hold of Wes. I don't have anything. I'm enjoying these cookies. I appreciate it from Mr. Hornday. They're delicious. Um, star search next week. What's up, B? How long do you hang out with Kevin? <laughs> well, Brian, I ain't gonna lie to you. As little as possible. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love coming in and hanging out with Kevin. Will the fairgrounds be back? Well, yeah. Alan Jackson came to town. He's still making making a tour though, isn't he? Yeah, he's on he's, he's on a tour that's called the Final something. I don't know. And and Trace Atkins' tour is called the Way I Want to Go Tour. Really? Got a brand new double CD. I listen to it almost every day. I love it. He's got great music. Yeah, it's very up to date too. I mean, it's it's so good. The, the band you have coming with Rose and you guys. This is going to be a phenomenal show. I mean, it, it would be hard to top what you got coming in this year. Yeah, we're getting ready to. We've talked with Rose. We got our set list because we're going to back her, mm -hmm. bringing Aaron with her. We've got that planned out and start rehearsing. I've had an issue. Our bass player's hurt. He had to have emergency. He had to have a surgery on his shoulder, and he's been in one of those slings where they tie it all the way around and can't move and all that crap. Will he and be all right by June? We're hoping. We're hoping. He sent me a text actually today saying, can you get me that set list? And he's worried. Now, when Trace is on stage singing Honky Tonk, Badonka Donk, are you going to get down that grass strip right there in front and dance it? Probably not. <laughs> I'm going to be directing. With the right amount of alcohol, I bet you at one point in time we could have. Yeah, I don't drink, so I don't <laughs> Right. If, if we raise enough money, he will. Right. There we go. There you go. Right. 
I don't have anything else, Rob. Next Friday or next Monday night, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with our star search competition. Once again, it'll be Michael McLean, Ransom Reynolds, Dakota Skiles, Jack Reese. The winner of that will move on to the semifinals, where the winner from that goes to the finals. One thousand dollars. Sponsored by Bouncers are us. Yeah, we play that. Ain't that awesome? Yep. Bouncers are us. And uh we're looking forward to it. And plus, hey, get on board with the Porch Time Golf Outing. Yep. We'll see you at a concert. We'll see you somewhere. We're looking forward to it. Mike, thanks for the cookies. Nope. Thanks, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it, Pam. Thank appreciate you so much. It. Thank you guys so much. And then once again, the Porch Time crew always doing a great job in here. We miss you, Corey. Taxes. It's tax season, isn't it? He'll be in there a long time tonight. So. Yeah. Isn't the deadline like today, though, mm-hmm. or something? Midnight. Why did they move it to the 18th instead of the 15th? Good Friday. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right, guys. Mike. Thanks on the level Robin. excavating, Thanks, Kevin. hope you find some workers. Yep, if you need a job, get a hold of Mike. Don't try. He'll hire you. All right, guys. Maybe. I'll see you guys later in a week. Rob, thank you so much. Love you guys. We'll see you soon.